So today I've decided to make a turkey meatloaf. It's actually cool enough to turn the oven on, which it hasn't been for a while. So I'm excited to bake something. Hey guys, voiceover Sue here. I thought I'd try and narrate a little bit so you know what's going on. So here I'm adding just some breadcrumbs um, to my ground turkey. And it looks like for this I just had kind of on hand one of those cheap tubes of turkey. Now normally with this recipe I make the breadcrumbs myself out of toasted bread. And I gotta say it comes out a lot better that way. I wasn't too happy with the texture of this. Here I'm adding Parmesan cheese and I'll put the recipe in the description. That's just ketchup, three tablespoons. I was trying to film with one hand and cook with the other hand. Um, it was a little bit challenging but like I said this recipe turns out much better if you make your own breadcrumbs uh, or I think maybe I just didn't put enough in of those breadcrumbs. I put in one cup, maybe two cups would have been better. I just like it to be a little bit firmer and it was a little bit mushy for my taste. Still good. This I'm just putting in a half a cup of milk. You can use any milk that you want. We generally drink almond milk because we're kind of lactose intolerant and it seems to cook just fine with almond milk. And I couldn't crack the egg and hold the camera, so there's one egg in there. Now I'm adding my sautéed onions. And I like to do those for a few minutes to get them pretty soft. And clearly I'm just dumping in garlic. I'm not measuring it at all. Everything I cook has a ton of garlic in it. It's good for you. Looks like I need to buy more, huh? So for some spices, we've got basil. I believe I'm doing a half a teaspoon of that. And also garlic powder. I think that's a half a teaspoon as well. Some ground thyme. And I'm trying to remember where I got this recipe from. I think it's from an old Weight Watchers book that I had, but it's just so delicious. We've cooked it for years. Some ground pepper and a little bit of salt. I guess I thought I needed more salt. <laughs> and I love to mix things with my hands, so time to glove up and get in there. This is something you really want to make sure it's mixed well together, especially the spices. Sometimes I'll mix all the spices together separately in a bowl and then add them in in one fell swoop. I feel like that kind of incorporates them better. But clearly I didn't do that this day. <laughs> but either way you want to make sure that you mix it very well. And I really like mixing stuff with my hands. It's just very satisfying and I think it does a better job 
the end of the spoon. And I have done this before without a glove and you end up with meaty chunks under your fingernails and it's not that cool. So here I'm just putting it into my loaf pan that I had sprayed with cooking spray. Kind of just get it in there and then pat it into shape. Play with it a little bit so it makes a nice loaf shape. Wow, watching this again, this is making me hungry and making me want to make this again, but you know, with more breadcrumbs this time. So we're patting that into place. Then, okay, get rid of that nasty glove. Ew. We're going to cook this at 350. And of course, since I had raw meat, I have to bleach everything. I am very particular about that. I get weird about raw meat. I think a lot of people do, but I like to hose things down with bleach after I've been working with raw meat. Oh, here's where I, I guess I had to stop and have a snack while I was <laughs> waiting for the oven to heat up. So one of my favorite things to eat is hummus with basically anything you can dip in there. Those snack factory pretzels, those are the best. I don't know if you've ever had those. And some snap peas. Yum. That's usually what I eat for lunch like every day is hummus and something dipped in it. All right, we're gonna get this in the oven. I was very excited to bake this day because it's been so hot that turning on the oven just doesn't make sense at all. So it was finally cooler this day. And I was like, I need to bake something immediately. So at this point, I'm just gonna try to loosely cover it up with some foil, which as you can see isn't that easy to do when the pan is hot, but this kind of keeps the top from getting brown too quickly. Because it does cook for, in the RV oven, it cooks for like an hour and 20 minutes. Okay, so here's our finished meatloaf. We're also going to have some corn on the cob and some broccoli slaw that I had made yesterday. It's just a simple salad, just one of those pre-made bags of broccoli slaw. And then I add carrots and sunflower seeds and red onions and just make a dressing with mayonnaise and apple cider vinegar and some spices. We're also gonna have a little bit of wine. There we go, pile of meat. And it's pouring up the wine. It's been a good day, so we're gonna celebrate with a nice dinner. Drinking some good wine too. The Chateau Saint Michel. Is that what it's busy? Yep, 2016. Good stuff. All right, time to eat.